All right, y'all, we had a, uh, a $30, 30 minute chicken tractor a while back. We had predator problems with it. We had to um, predator proof it a few times by adding uh, PVC roofing to it, hardware cloth. We got rid of the tarp. We got rid of the chicken wire and we raised several batches of chickens in there, uh, a couple uh, ducks in there as well. And then this summer we had a chicken with five or six ducklings, six, si six ducklings in there. And one night after all these uh, batches of chickens we've run through there, uh, after we had predator proofed it with the, the harder materials, some predator dug its way underneath it and in, inside and ate all the ducklings and the mama hen. Uh, and so we were like, wow, we thought this thing was a fortress. Now we got to do something else. So uh, we, we have now electrified our chicken tractor. So that's the uh, title of this video, how to electrify your chicken tractor. All right, so the main problem here with these chicken tractors um, is if, if an animal gets close to it and burrows underneath it and gets in there, they can come in there and eat my birds. So see this poly wire right here? That's electrified. And I'll show you how I mounted it. So I started off with these little standouts right here. You see it's got just one long nail there that kind of puts it in that corner post and holds it off the fence just a couple inches. Got another one on the opposite front corner. Now the rear corner is a little bit trickier because there's a wheel back here. So see my wheel on the bolt? So I've got a standout on the flat face here, another standout on the flat face here so it gets it around that wheel. Got it up a little bit higher on this end so that when I tip the uh, tractor back to move it, it won't be in the way. Did the same thing over here. And so what I did was I've got just a strand of poly wire going all the way around. And right here, you can see my knot. I, I made a loop and another loop. What do you say, Maggie? Yeah? Really? Okay, you get you, get, you eat that flower. So I made the loop and a loop, so it made this nice and tight, so it keeps the, uh, the poly wire taut. And what I've got right here is a split bolt. You see right there in the tail end of the, of the bolt where it's split? Well, there's like this type of washer there that has legs that goes inside the split bolt. Let's see if I can get the focus in on it. You see those two little legs sticking in the split? And it holds the poly wire, and it holds the hot wire. Elijah, is that wire hot? What? Is that wire hot? Yeah. How do, how do you know? Because I touched it. Yeah? Yeah. How, how did it feel? Uh, it's good, bad. Did, did it let you know you were still alive? Yep, totally. <laughs> did dad touch it? Yeah. Did he make some funny noises? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here, here's here's the uh, split bolt holding the poly wire and the hot wire together. And this hot wire, you see it just running along the ground over here. Come along, come along, come along. And you notice we're next to a poly wire fence. We're next to Maggie's fence. We're next to the chick shawl fence with the chickens and the ducks. And bang right here on the poly wire fence there's another split bolt holding the wire to this now the thought process here is this I, I don't really want this group of turkeys inside of the poly wire fence with all the chickens uh, one there's the issues of blackhead and things like that I don't really think we have a problem with that around here uh, but who knows right but really I got to move these guys every day and and if I'm doing that inside the fence where the chickens and the pig are then, then with, when it comes to them, they, they, we're, we're taking precious grass from them, so, which means I have to move them more often. So I've got these guys hanging out on the outside of the chicken fence, and I gave it enough slack that it can be towards the back of the chicken fence. And I can move the tractor every day, and it has enough slack that it can make it down here to the other end of the fence before I have to reattach that split bolt right there. So that split bolt right there will just stay right there in the middle pole until I've made enough daily moves that this chicken tractor has made it from the back corner to that front corner. Then I'll reattach it in the middle pole over there. We'll work the south face. Then we'll work the west face of the fence. And then by the time we've worked our way all 
all the way around the flurd, as we like to call it, it's the flock herd, because it's mainly a flock, but it's got one pig, so it's a flurd. So by the time they've circumvented the flurd, it'll be time to move the flurd, and then we'll just move the whole chicken tractor to where the flurd is next. So that way we'll just systematically move our way across the pasture again. So that's how you can electrify your chicken tractor. Chicken tractors, once again, lots of people have them. Um, you know, sometimes you have predator problems, sometimes you don't. But it's just one way that we are helping defend our turkeys against the predators. Let's go look at the turkeys one more time.